All right, guys. Get ready to have some fun. We're going to do ballistics gel testing using different types of broadheads and uh, different arrow spines. We're going to use 400s and 500 spines, mechanical and fixed blade on ballistics gel. Let's have some fun. I'll tell you what it is before I shoot it. We will be shooting the Black Swan 48 pound hybrid longbow. For you guys that don't know, this ballistics gel is a little more dense than uh, it should be, so you won't get a whole lot of penetration, but it will be consistent. All right. We're going to start with the Eclipse 4 blade. That shot with a 400 spine. We're going to shoot a three blade snuffer on a 400 spine. Now we're shooting a muzzy phantom four blade on a 400 spine full length. We'll be shooting the Badger Broadhead, and this is on a, I believe this is a 400 spine also, yeah, 400. Oh, and that one rocked it. Now we're going to be shooting a cheap uh, mechanical, let's see how it fares. Let's check them out. The proof is in the pudding. Wow. All right, guys, here we go. Let's just check it out and see what we got. Hmm. Badger by far. Then, um, it's a, it's a kind of in between the, uh, I think the snuffer three blade then the muzzy phantom four blade although i'm gonna give that to the muzzy phantom because uh that snuffer is a three blade they should have uh, out penetrated that muzzy and then we have the eclipse four blade um kind of expected a little more out of that one um and then the um mechanical did not penetrate through the gel block um, you can look at the wound channel on that. Let's see if I can get it to stick on that mechanical. Nice wound channel. Can't take away from it there. Um, very good wound channel. We'll look at the entry holes going in. Some mechanical. Not great. Um... This is the Eclipse 4 blade, I believe, right there. Better check before I tell you. No, it's the Muzzy. The Muzzy 4 blade right there. And of course, it's going to cut because it's a fixed blade. Over here is the uh, Badger broadhead. Of course, all the fixed blades are going to cut going in, and that one uh, rotates as it goes through the gel. It's a spinning broadhead. Okay. This is the um, Eclipse 4 blade. And that just, I don't know, it looked like there was a lot of physical drag. Okay. And this is um, the Snuffer. The Snuffer looks like it, uh, it cut well, you know. Um, nothing I can really say against that. It's got a nice clean cut. It's just, being a 3 blade, I would have expected a little more. These holes are pretty big though. Um, this mechanical, let's pull them out and see what kind of, uh, how they held together. Looks fine. No problem. And of course the, uh, the solid piece broadhead shouldn't be a problem at all.
I figured the eclipse would go a little further than that. Oh, mercy, this one's hard to get out. What is that? Wow. That muzzy, you can hardly pull it out. All right. This is the snuffer. This gel is brutal stuff, man. And then the badger, which just flew through this thing. Oh. Oh. That spiral wound channel, I can already get this thing out of here. There we go. All right, and this one was actually a little rusty. I've been hunting with it, so. So rust and all, and a spiral wound channel. Pretty good. All right, guys, look at my poor gel block. <laughs> All right, catch you on the flip side.